Like most organizations at Elon, the women's soccer team features students from across the country. At the beginning of September, the girls traveled north to face off against both UMass and Harvard. While this was a new experience for the team, for some it was a chance to go back home and play in front of friends and family. Well, it was our first big road trip uh, as a team. It was a great bonding experience. We took the sleeper bus. We left Wednesday night around 11 o'clock, and mostly everyone had a bed. The freshmen, we became so much closer. Um, when we first got on the bus, we didn't get the beds. So it was like a 12, 13 hour trip. So there's a lot of movies, and we had some good times. And so we were facing each other, and we just we stayed up and talked. <laughs> we tried to sleep as much as we could and we, we stopped about, I guess it takes nine hours to get to my house. And it was just great to be home. Uh, I saw my mom and uh, my cousins and my grandma. And it was just nice to have like a home cooked meal and just relax for, and take a break from the bus ride. After stopping in at Jacqueline's house in New Jersey, the girls continued on to UMass to face an unfamiliar team with a few familiar faces. The best thing for me about playing UMass and Harvard were playing against my friends. On UMass, there were about five or six girls that I grew up playing club with, that I've played against and that I've played with. Two of my best friends play UMass, and so it was so great to play against them in a college setting. The captain of Harvard uh, was a, a buddy of mine, and we um, played against each other all throughout high school in multiple sports, and it was really nice to see her. I played with her in the summer. We played summer league together. so. It was fun to be able to. She actually scored on us, but that's all right. <laughs> While seeing friends was nice, it was nothing compared to the feeling of being with family. It's an indescribable feeling being on the field and looking up and seeing your parents there. Just to have that comfort to see them in the stands when you're playing, um, it really just, it did bring me back to high school. It was just nice to have them there because it's not easy for them to come down every weekend to North Carolina from New Jersey, so. My parents don't really get to come down a lot because they're busy with my sister and all her sports going on back home. So it was amazing to look up in the stands and see like my dad, my mom, my nana, my sister, and all those type of people that, you know, my nana's 92, so she wouldn't really be able to make the trip down to Elon. So it was great to be able to have her see me play one last time. I think family is a very big part of our team, and it's nice that on a road trip like that, that Besides uh, the team members bonding together, I think the families also bond together, which is great. It's no surprise that between the comforts of home and the camaraderie on the field, that the team came back to Elon with a greater sense of community. It helps to go play teams that we're not used to, like a UMass or Harvard, and kind of you know see what we are capable of. Again, it was early in the season, so it was a, a big bonding weekend for us. Playing on the road is always challenging, and especially after a trip like that, you know, I thought we came together and learned a lot about our team and ourselves. I think it was a great uh, experience on the field and off the field for our team. I strongly believe that a team does well based on their chemistry, and our team right now has great chemistry, and the Boston trip helps that so much. We're really close this year. We have a, the smallest team since I've been here. Um, and. Yeah, I, we love everybody. It's a, it's a really good year. We're all very close. Makes it, it transfers onto the field, I think. I think that whole Boston weekend really made us grow as a team and a family, and uh, it's definitely going to help us along the way.